Hello and welcome. This tutorial will show you how to create a flow in Infor RPA Studio, allowing you to extract key values from a document and write those values in an Excel spreadsheet. First, we will present the use case overview for which we will build the flow. Then, we will create the RPA flow and execute it. At the end, we will recap the list of the activities used in the flow. For today's use case, we want to build a flow which first reads a document and extracts key values such as customer number and order number. Then we will do a receive payload transformation and lastly at the end, write those values into an Excel spreadsheet as a table. Let's first start with a few prerequisites. Navigate to your file explorer on your desktop. Go to this PC and click into the C drive. Create a new folder and name it RPA. In order to build the RPA flow, we should go to RPA Studio and create a new project. To start building the flow, let's define the OCR activity, which will allow us to read the key values from the business document. For that, we will need the extract document key value activity. Navigate to the activities panel, locate the extract document key value activity, and drag and drop it into the flow. Click on the activity to configure its properties. For OCR document, which is the file path of a specific document from which we would like to extract the data, let's create an argument. This argument will be called OCR path with an argument type string and a default value of the OCR document path. For list of keys, which is the list of key values we would like to extract, open the list editor and create the following keys, customer number and order number. Then save the list. For output response, which will be storing the extracted values in JSON format, let's create a variable. This variable will be called JOutput with variable type JToken. In order to find the JToken variable type, expand the variable type and select Browse for Type. In the type name cell, type JToken and select. Be sure to type JOutput into the response panel. Navigate back to the Activities panel and search for the Message Box activity, and drag and drop the Message Box activity underneath the Extract Document Key Value activity. The Message Box activity will allow us to check if we retrieve the desired values from the document. Click on the activity and let's define the following properties. For input text, define the following Visual Basic expression, JOutput.toString. This transforms the provided JSON to string data type. It is done because the input text property allows only values of data type string. The message box title, button selection, and response code can stay empty. In our next step, we will need to filter out the provided JSON response from the API endpoint to get only the extracted key values with a few extra properties like coordinates and the confidence parameter. For that, we will use the activity JQ Transformation. Navigate back to the Activities panel, find JQ Transformation activity, and drag and drop it into the workflow. Click on the activity to define the properties. For JSON input, open the Dictionary Editor. For key input, type key1. And for the value, type JOutput. Click Add. For the filter property, we will need to create a JSON payload filter in order to get that specific value from the JSON output. In order to do this, you should expand the filter property and open the expression editor. In the expression editor, type in the following payload filter. Please note that the filter property data type is string, so the provided filter should be within the quotes. For JSON output, which will store the values filtered out from the JSON payload, let's create a variable. Navigate to the Variables tab and create a new variable with the name jqout. Expand the variable type and select Browse for Type. In the Type Name cell, type jtoken. Select jtoken. Navigate back to the Properties panel and expand the JSON output. Type in the variable that we just created. In our next step, navigate back to the Activities panel and select Message Box. Drag and drop the message box into the workflow. This message box activity will allow you to check if we retrieve the desired values from the JSON payload. Select the message box activity to define the following properties. For input text, 
define the following Visual Basic expression, jq out dot to string. This allows you to read the provided JSON and transform it into a string data type. Input text property will only allow values of data type string. Message box title, button selection, and response code can stay empty. Now let's create the data table. Navigate back to the activities panel and select JSON to data table activity. Drag and drop the activity into the workflow. This activity will allow us to transform the JSON array into a data table. Select the activity to configure its properties. Expand the JSON array input and type in JQ out into the expression editor. Press OK. Let's create a new variable for data table, which will store the data table with values from the JSON array. Navigate to the variables tab and create a variable with name DT. Expand the variable type and select browse for type. In the type name cell, type data table and select data table. Go back to the properties tab and for output data table, type in the variable that we just created. Now we will write data table into the Excel spreadsheet. Navigate back to the activities panel and under Excel activities, drag and drop write range. Select the activity to define the following properties. Expand the data table input in the properties panel. Put in the data table variable DT and press OK. For the starting cell property, we will first create an argument to provide the exact cell address for where to put the data table in the Excel sheet. Navigate to the arguments tab. Create an argument with name, cell, an argument type of string, and a default value of A1. Return to the properties panel and for starting cell, input the argument that we just created, cell. For our workbook path property, we will be creating an argument that will provide the exact file path of the Excel worksheet. Navigate back to the argument panel and create an argument called Excel path with type string and a default value with the exact file path of the Excel worksheet. Navigate back to the properties panel and for our workbook path property, Type in Excel path argument that we just created. For our worksheet name property, we'll create an argument which will be the exact name of the worksheet within the Excel file. Navigate back to the Arguments tab and create a new argument named Workbook with type string and a default value of List1. Please note that the workbook default name may be different depending on the used language on your working station. Navigate back to the Properties panel, and for the Worksheet Name property, input the argument Workbook that we just created. Now that we have finished creating the flow and defined the properties for all of the activities, we can run the flow to see if all is working as expected. After you run the flow, the message boxes will pop up with the extracted values. Click OK. Navigate to the bottom of RPA Studio into the Output panel. Here you can check the logs of the activities. The activity code 200 means that it was executed successfully. After the workflow has been successfully executed, let's check if the values were written into the created Excel spreadsheet. Here you can see that the customer number value and the order number value has been successfully inputted into the Excel spreadsheet. Now that the flow has been built and successfully executed, you can now publish the flow to the RPA management in the M4OS multi-tenant environment. To do so, please follow our different tutorial on how to publish RPA flow into RPA management. During today's tutorial, we demonstrated how to use multiple automation activities in M4RPA Studio, such as extract document key value, JQ transformation, JSON to table, and right range. I hope you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you wish to see more, visit our YouTube channel where you can find more content. Thank you.